There is no good reason why Nigeria is not one of the leading economies in the world. They have an emerging Silicon Valley in Lagos. Out of the 442 tech hubs in Africa, 90 of them are in Nigeria. One of the smartest men in the world, Dr. Philip Emegwali, is Nigerian and he developed one of the fastest computer systems on earth called the connection machine where he connected over 60,000 computers to solve 3.1 billion calculations per second. They are the largest oil producer in Africa and the sixth largest oil producer in the world. They have tons of it. They were colonized by the British in the 1800s and they gained their independence by 1960, so they had about 80 years under British rule. Until oil was discovered there in the very early 1900s, Britain took a lot of gold from Nigeria as well. But why isn't their economy thriving? Why are they suffering so much right now? The country is resource rich, they have plenty of brilliant people, they have emerging tech hubs going on all over the place, but there's not a lot of optimism about their future, even though they have so much. I think it's because there is a concerted effort by either the East or the West or both to make sure that there is not one major powerhouse in Africa to unite and guide regions of the continent. Africa is the most resource-rich continent in the world, and the rest of the world, at least who has a lot of money and power, want to make sure that they can keep exploiting these continents to get the cheap resources. Look at this chart of Nigeria's economic growth since 1992. It was booming. It was skyrocketing. It was matching China's explosive growth. And then boom, 2014 happens. You have Muslim fundamentalists coming in from all sides. And boom, the economy contracts from what, 565 billion a year all the way down to below $400 billion. That is disastrous. And they still haven't recovered to this day. They are $100 billion smaller than they were almost 10 years ago. There's only so much you can blame on corruption and competent leadership because plenty of other countries that managed to thrive have had both. Look at India. All of the energy and oil infrastructure that was built in Nigeria was started off by the British. Of course, because oil is such a precious resource, the country focused on exporting this. In fact, oil represents 91% of all of Nigeria's exports. That's an even higher percentage of oil exports than Saudi Arabia. 74% of all of their exports come from oil. One thing that Saudi Arabia has is the complete and total backing of the United States. They make sure that no one but the Sauds control Saudi Arabia, and of course, there's a lot of strategic advantages that the US gets to enjoy as a result, along with the petrodollar. One of my theories is that it's because Nigeria is a secular country, even though they have a large Muslim population. Secular means that they strongly believe in the separation of church and states. The fact that Nigeria is a secular nation with a large population, and they are very resource rich, scares a lot of the world. Either way, something doesn't add up when you stack all the cards in Nigeria's favor compared to their economy and overall stability, I think their greatness is being robbed or held back by somebody else. I'm the Geo Husser, and please keep subscribing to my YouTube because I'm trying to grow that account. I would be very happy if it was as big as my TikTok account. Thanks for watching.